Hi, I'm Dr. Sam, helping you get closer to great skin days. Now, have you ever found yourself completely stressed out by the prospect of a holiday from a beauty perspective? I know for me, it's always quite overwhelming thinking everything through. So I thought I would share with you today my pre-holiday prep, my in-flight kit, and what I take for my destination. Now, the key thing about where you're going is the change in environment. So you'll be dealing potentially with humidity, with increased UV, with bugs, with fragrance products in your hotel room. There are all sorts of potential hazards and I'm gonna show you my way of minimizing the risk of those things going wrong. Starting off, let's talk about prep then. So for me, before I go on holidays, and I'm talking about somewhere warm where more skin is going to be exposed, say a typical beach destination. And I like to go long, long haul overseas when I'm going away, particularly in summer as it helps me disengage from the office that little bit more. So I like to take into consideration the condition of my skin. I suffer from a little bit of keratosis pilaris on the backs of my arms. So I want to make sure that's minimized by using an alpha hydroxy acid body preparation. Now, the one I like is Neostratus Lotion Plus. It's a 15% glycolic acid base preparation. And I use that twice a day for the two weeks leading up to my trip. It won't get rid of the redness, but it certainly minimizes that rough bumpiness that can appear on thighs and backs of arms. For any breakouts that might be affecting my chest or upper back, and that can certainly happen even in the UK when things get a little warmer and sweaty, particularly if you do things like hot yoga. I'll use something like the Azelac Face and Body Spray, which contains 2% azelaic acid um, and salicylic acid in a combination spray, which is a really convenient format to deliver, maybe after a class, swiping on a cotton pad over those affected areas. And the final thing I might do if I'm feeling you know, like I want to really get ready, is a little bit of light fake tan. I tend to use the Saint Tropez Gradual Tanning Everyday Mousse, and I use that with a mitt for a few days, really just on my legs, take off that kind of milky blue kind of Irish thing I've got going on on my legs. And that's pretty much me prepped. Okay, so we're at the airport, and I'm going on a long haul flight overnight, let's say, to Thailand. So this is everything I need to survive the ordeal that is air travel which means dry air air that's going to promote breakouts and dry skin in my you know confused and capricious complexion so what have I got in here so basics I've got cotton pads I've got some pointy q-tips basically the stuff to use um, with my cellar lotion for a cleanup um, so first things first, I've decanted some Bioderma and Sibio Micellar water into a Muji bottle. So I'm going to take any hint of makeup off and on flying days I'll always keep it to the very minimum. Maybe just a light coating of tinted sunscreen, a bit of concealer and cream blush. So I get everything off as soon as I board and then I get ready for hydration. And it's going to be a long, long period of hydration. So I tend to use my moisturizer, which is the Flawless Moisturizer, which contains 5% niacinamide, just because the texture is sumptuous, it's designed to stay put, so it really reduces transepidermal water loss, which is a big issue when you've got really low humidity in the air cabin. And it also contains Humex, so it's a good blend with the niacinamide, which is very calming, and reduces the tendency for breakouts, and I reapply that diligently. Even if I'm sleeping, when I wake up, <gasps> I touch my skin, it's not damp, I put more on. That's how rigorous I am about hydration. And I found that that's the way to keep my breakouts at bay, is moisturizing with a non-clogging product that actually helps preserve barrier function and avoid that irritability. So assuming I'm doing a night flight, I'm taking a retinoid and I don't interrupt my nighttime routine for anything, flights, nothing. So I'll either use nightly serum or tretinoin, depending on which night I'm rotating. If my skin's on the drier side, I'll probably go with the lighter version um, because the Grand Active Retinoid is a bit less irritating and I will take Trusty Juac on prescription for blemishes just in case because the last thing you want to do is to arrive at a new destination with a fresh you know blooper on your chin. Um, I'm a terrible sleeper so I will always pack a little silky eye mask just to uh, shut out the light and enable me to get my beauty sleep and then of course lips. Lips always dry out. Um, I'm currently using this one from Bioderma, their Acidome range which is great. And then we arrive and hopefully if you've done your moisturising like a fiend, you will actually look dewier than when you departed and you'll be relaxed from your sleep and your retinoid doing its thing. 
I might tame frizzy ends because my hair definitely gets a bit more staticky um, with some living proof thickening cream just on the ends. And then if I want to actually, you know, look pulled together and polished, I'll do a little bit of light makeup, just a tiny bit. So I find Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS excellent because you can do a bit under here. You can do a little bit, you know, on areas of redness around the nose and the chin. So it's really versatile. If I was feeling enthusiastic, I'll do a little bit of Stila Convertible Color. I tend to travel with cream textures. I just find them easier both on a plane and when you arrive, everything can be applied essentially with fingers. A bit of lipstick creams, nothing but the truth. And I might put a bit of brow in, as I say, if I'm quite well rested and the Kevin Aquan brunette eyebrow pencil is my staple. And I'll always carry one of these just because I hate my hair on my face when I'm traveling or you know, eating and stuff. These are what I always travel with, these kind of see-through bags where I can always see what's what and where things are. Um, they're so useful, they last for ages, and you don't tend to have to decant your products into those nasty little plastic bags whenever you're boarding a plane. Okay, so that's me arrived. All right, so you've arrived intact, and I just wanted then to walk you through all the bits and bobs I bring with me. I think the most important thing, of course, changing climate is to start with good sun protection. So first things first, I've brought my trusty Global Babes hat, which has a UPF 50 rating, a huge brim. Essentially, it's like your own personal parasol that will properly shade the whole of your face, and it comes in a great range of colors. Then I'll pack my sunscreen options, and I think you do need options. So I will tend to travel with a physical uh, tinted sunscreen, like the Neostrata one, which is a really good level of cover. I will also take along flawless sunscreen because sometimes I want to layer both. Um, I'll put a layer of this underneath the tinted one. I'll do proper layers of each. That way I feel really super protected. And the niacinamide in this one just helps reduce the risk of breakouts because no matter how well sunscreen is formulated, I find that with my skin I just tend to break up more when I travel in hot sticky climates. So I think of this as being an extra level of safety. Um, against that happening. And then my current body uh, sunscreen of choice is this one from HelioCare, which is a really clever 360 degree spray. Now, sprays you have to be so careful with, but the direction of this nozzle means that very little escapes into the air. So I can be much more confident that I'm delivering the right amount of sun protection onto my limbs and the level of protection again offered by Helio Care sunscreens is excellent. Another one of those sort of plastic um, transparent uh, packs for traveling with. So that's sun protection taken care of. And I will think about boosting my intake of orange and red fruits like watermelon to boost my inherent sun protection from within. So that's a really good thing to think about in hotter climates. Now skincare wise, I will travel with um, a flawless cleanser mini because when you're wearing lots of sunscreen, you really want to be sure to get that off at the end of the day, so I find that super effective for that. Um, we've got our retinoids, as I mentioned before, I've got the Flawless Moisturiser. I might also take along some Aven Recovery Cream, because my skin just has a propensity to get irritated when I'm away from my usual environment, whether, I don't know, I'm exposed to things in the air I'm not used to. Um, I just find this is a very calming moisturiser if my skin is on the irritable end of the spectrum. And I tend to get prickly heat um, on my chest the first few days. So again, this is a product I'm very comfortable taking down my neck and chest because it's so soothing. Other things I have in here, I like to travel with the Aven Soothing Moisture Mask. I just find this is a great way of pepping up skin if it was on the drier side post-flight. And again, maybe before a special evening out whilst you're away. Um, I tend to city pack my cellar water decanted or in one of those small travel tubes. And then I also get the C Frulic from Skin Suitables um, in these small travel ampoules, which again, great when you travel, great as a second layer of protection against UV um, and visible light when you're in a more extreme climate. The last thing I always carry with me is 1% hydrocortisone cream. I get bitten by bugs, they love me. Um, prickly heat can be really, really irritating and can look you know, really quite unsightly if you're wearing a strappy top. So for me, that's an essential. Use that twice a day, thinly applied to affected areas for a couple of days. Um, and that calms things right down. Other things to think about are hair and makeup. So makeup, I tend to keep to a minimum. If I'm using a tinted sunscreen, that might even be it. Um, but otherwise on holidays, I go super light with the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's just a great, non-clogging, um, light coverage product that looks really real, really natural, like skin. 
Um, as I said, I use a cream blush. I use the Camellia Stila Convertible Color. Um, I will take some mascara, just like a bit of definition in the eye at night, but I don't tend to wear that during the day because I don't like water resistant um, mascara. It's just too darned hard to get off. Um, I'll take the Radiant Creamy and the Soft Matte Concealer from NARS for covering things up. A bit of boy brown, as I said, Kevin Aquan for eyebrows, um, and a neutral lipstick. And that's pretty much me. I might take a luminizer if I can be bothered. But generally speaking, holidays these days for me are about R&R &R and doing the least amount possible, while still looking, you know, um, civilised. So final considerations, I always bring my own body care. It used to be that, you know, the idea of sumptuous fragrance perfumes, um, fra perfume fr products in, in the bathroom of a hotel was kind of a selling point, but actually these days they just give me rashes and irritation. So I tend to use Flawless Cleanser on my body when I travel because it's super gentle, no fragrance, no foam. And I'll use something bland like the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, which my other half uses as well. So both of us will tend to use that on our bodies when we travel. For hair, I'll tend to use these little minis um, from Living Proof. They're full range, which is the shampoo, conditioner and the thickening cream. And then for an extra treat, I'm loving this Virtue um, restorative treatment mask. So I quite like the idea of putting on doing some spas or a hammam to use um, a mask on the ends of my hair to really pamper it and protect it against UV. Um, one thing to say, I do continue my retinoid during my travels. I don't ever expose my face to more sun, you know, just by changing environment. I think it's important to be consistent with the routine. And for me, the upside of using a routine like that is, you know, far outweighs any potential short-term benefit from sun exposure and tanning. So I think we all know that. So therefore I protect my face. I use my sunscreens properly and stay out of the sun in the strong hours. And that way this is protected and my routine can continue. As normal. Now I hope that's not too exhausting for you. I mean it is quite a lot of products but that's how I travel and I think that's how a lot of you guys travel too. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my tips and tricks for a pleasant beauty experience when you're away. Bye for now.